enthusiastic introduction Nick FPV here here to show you the brand new beta FPV 20 amp all-in-one board I just got this in from Amazon I'm very excited to try it on a 4s quad and I have the previous 12 amp version here on my kebab toothpick so what we get here in the package we have course the board I already installed our little, little spacers here um, which I'll be putting in a build pretty soon so um, this one did not come with the pins um, the motor pins but I don't really um, I'm not going to use that I'm going to be direct soldering so that's less weight I'll be needing um, this does come with a capacitor one difference you'll see uh, from this is the 20 amp version versus the 12 amp here the battery leads come right out the back um, I think this was an issue I had and some other people complain they had the battery leads coming right next to the USB and you can see here battery leads coming out right next to this and it was kind of a pain it's a little tight squeeze to plug in the USB here in addition the pads are quite a bit more accessible it's flip this over here so got the motor pads on both sides nice and big yeah the pads here on the sides are larger here's you can see an example here here's like the previous quite a bit smaller pads you can see here so that's a nice addition and then of course um, the FETs here are running all along right next to the pads here these are this is how it's able to handle more amps these are the new FETs kind of really squeezed in there here as well so I'm excited to try this this is this would definitely be overkill on 3s but I'm gonna try it on a new 4s build which I'll talk about in a second here um, the rest of the items here does have the uh, motor plugs if you need them along with a couple screws couple nuts for mounting. My plan with this, I had an old full speed toothpick pro, it was a two and a half inch, but I'm gonna use my extra kebab FPV toothpick frame. I know this is not suited for 4S, it's the frame's not quite thick enough. I think it's only two mil. Um but you know what I don't really care. I'm I'm really curious to build an ultra light 4S quad. These are the Baby Hog R Pro motors these are um, rated for up to 4s these are 1106 4500 kV um, and these are the three inch Avon props so this is the setup I'm gonna try I'm also gonna try the HQ 3 by 3 by 2 props um, but you can tell here this just like that battery lead comes out right here and uh, yeah so I'll be posting another video once this build is ready hopefully in the next few days and it should be a screamer see how it manages now one more thing I wanna share quickly is if you are a Primo 3 owner this is a Primo 3 another very popular 3 inch micro frame big fan of the Primo however these came out um, a few maybe a month or two before the 12 amp and 20 amp kebab uh, flight controller flight controllers came out from Beta FPV and it does not, even if I go this way, like, it does not fit. It just doesn't fit within between these two things. So, unfortunately, not compatible with a Primo. Um, you'll have to use toothpick frame, twig frame, etc. Um, which I'm bummed about because this, I think this is actually probably a little sturdier of a frame than the kebab. It's got some thicker, got some wider arms, but so it is. And then Kebab uh, recently briefly mentioned he's going to be working on the 5 inch toothpick, the TP5. And he was saying Beta FPV was coming out with a new all in one board. I think this is it because this will be handling 4S. I don't imagine he'd be running it on 6S. That would be kind of overkill, but I have a feeling this will be the board he's going to use. So hopefully, another great board, another great collaboration with Kebab. He posted right here for the build video coming up soon.